up guys welcome to today's video I don't know if you have already seen it but LumaTouch has updated LumaFusion and I want to check with you together what they've added into the new version let's jump into the iPad so we are on the iPad now as you can see there aren't any big differences in the layout uh, compared to the previous versions but there are some little but fine improvements. The first thing is one I've wished uh, since my last uh, LumaFusion Make Me Angry video uh, and this is the multi-select and they added this feature. What you have to do is just click on here and as you can see it opens a second button with, uh, with two checks and um, what the first button, so the blue one does, is you are able to select multiple videos by yourself. What you also can do is just uh, swipe over the videos, which makes it a bit faster. Let's unselect them all. And what the second button does is really nice. It just selects all of the clips and uh, photos or whatever in this folder. And now you can drag and drop them into your timeline. Really cool. Let's go back. The next feature is you are able to sort your library. In this dialog you are able to change the view on your library or on the specific folder. But you are able to sort for name, so ABC, uh, date size, color, length, so, uh, resolution, FPS, scale and so on and so on. But I always use the date. So what's also new is a search function and you're able to uh, search in your iOS uh, photo and video library or in every storage. So let's try it out. Um, I will search on this iPad and on my Western Digital NAS storage. So let's try it. Um, let's search LumaFusion. And as you can see, it found something, which is great, and it's still searching. So if you, if you are searching on uh, external storages, it will take some time, especially if, if you are connected uh, via Wi-Fi. So as you can see, there are nearly all my videos uh, showing up now. It's a great feature and it's still searching. Okay, let's check out the third new function. Ah yeah, it's story blocks. So as you can see, the license-free uh, music disappeared instead of there are story blocks. What story blocks is, it's a website with clips, videos, backgrounds, loops, effects and so on, which you can download for money or for free. It depends on, especially this for example is free, just try it out. Now it's downloading and it's nothing else than a, for example, Epidemic Music or Adobe Stock and so on. But it's great that they implemented it into LumaFusion. It's still downloading. So let's have a look. So now we have slow motion splashing water. Really nice if you are searching for one specific clip and you want to to improve your whole video just with this uh, specific clip and you're not able to shoot it by yourself. Really cool. The next thing uh, has something to do with the FX. So let's jump into the editing mode. And as you can see there are some arrows on the right and left and on the rotation. And what you can do with them is just you're able to fine adjust uh, your settings. Really useful, makes it a bit easier than before. Simple but great. 
And what's also improved, it jumps better back to zero. So as you can see, it jumps back pretty quick, which is a great feature. This makes most of the editing easier than before. Let's jump into the FX tab. As you can see, they've added some headlines to the uh, folders to make it easier to search for them. Still simple but great. And they've added some new effects called thermal x-ray and color edges. What thermal does, it makes it look like you're shooting with a thermal camera or with an x-ray camera and so on. Nothing special but new. And what they've also added is a, let's try to find it out, a fader for the corners and the edges. So as you can see, you can fade out your clips on the edges and corners. Makes it sometimes a bit smoother if you want to use it. There's one last thing I've detected. Um, it's also pretty simple, but sometimes useful, especially if your storage is pretty full. You can open the cleaning tab and it shows you how much storage LumaFusion needs right now and you're able to clean all temporarily files. So this was it uh, with the update. I think the new features are great. They make LumaFusion easier to use and more productive. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed it, just give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and see you next time guys. Bye.